Hey guys, welcome back. We have a, uh, this is never, never fun to see. We have a little bit of a situation with USPS. Again, any of the shipping companies can have this happen. There's always some risk involved when you're shipping anything. And especially when it's trading cards, we've seen some uh, some bad incidents happen. We we saw a lot of uh, stolen stuff. I mean, it can be stolen, it can be lost, it can be damaged in transit. It's kind of the way that it works. No matter which uh, which company you decide to ship stuff with, it doesn't matter. It can be broken. It can be lost. You got to be careful. You can get insurance. You got to make sure that that insurance covers the entire value. You got to make sure that that insurance covers collectibles in 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 this case but uh it's it's not good it's not good when this happens this is not not good news when psa instead of uh, contacting you about how they received your package they they send you a picture of your beat to hell box what do you do there's uh, this is this is going to be a huge headache for joey here and hopefully he gets reimbursed for the absolute disaster that 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 has happened here now well, you get it. This is a definitely a plus side of not grading your cards is the fact that you're not going to be shipping a bunch of them. But the more the, the more the value is on this stuff, whether it's personal value, whether it's personal collection and stuff that you can never replace that you will never if it's a childhood collection, if it's something that someone traded to you, your best bud of all time traded you something awesome. If it's something you pulled yourself, if it has any kind of meaning like that, there's a risk that it, it gets lost forever even if it gets paid out by insurance or anything like that. Again, I, th I think Joey here was under the impression that the insurance for PSA covered both ways. I don't know how that works, what the case is, but you need to do that research beforehand. Again, sometimes it's not worth putting insurance, putting extra tracking, putting extra delivery time on a package. It all adds up. And it, depending on what the, what the cost is of the, the package itself, again, putting a giant number on it, Putting anything on the package itself that indicates where it's going, whether it's going to, if it's going to PSA, chances are people are going to have a pretty good idea. If, if they know anything about trading cards, about sports cards or anything like that, they're going to know, hey, if someone's sending this stuff to PSA, there's probably value inside there. We've seen it with the Pokemon company who used to use Pokemon, po uh, not Pokemon company, but the, uh, the Pokemon Center who used to use the Pokemon Center tape on their boxes, it basically made them a target for theft. People knew, hey, there's Pokemon cards, there's Pokemon items in here. I'm working at the at the delivery company, I'm a driver, I'm whatever. Voila, free tendies, they steal it. No, they shouldn't be stealing any of that stuff. Yes, there should be cameras on everything in existence to make sure that the drivers aren't doing that. And the, the delivery companies should be 100% responsible for any of that. But that's the thing. So do you, do you, do you under-declare what's in the package if it's with, you know outside of actual laws and anything for uh, declaration of imports and stuff like that? If it's within the same country, do you try to make it look as cheap as possible? Do you try to make it look like there isn't something of value in there? Or do you put Mega Insurance Plus on it and have it packaged like it, it, it looks like there's some kind of secret uh, nuke codes inside the, inside the metal case? It's uh, it's hard to say what the best option is exactly, but again, there there is a risk here. This is not going to happen all the time. I, I, there's a bunch of people in the comments. We'll go through the comments uh, later on. the The main point of this video, I guess, is just to bring awareness to the fact that, like, if you can avoid shipping stuff, do it. I mean, um, a lot of this stuff, a lot of the stuff that you're buying or selling online, you're going to have to ship. You're going to have bad things that happen. Eventually, the more you ship, the more likely it's going to happen. It's not an all the time thing. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying everything you ever send to PSA is is going to get destroyed like this. But there's a chance you got to you got to know that going in in advance. But I mean, don't let it control your life. You got to you have to ship stuff or receive stuff that's shipped at some point or another. Uh, it would be very difficult to only collect locally, only travel. I mean, if you can travel to get your cards graded, that's definitely an option. Maybe there will be more grading facilities at some point that makes it a little bit easier to do so. But here we are. We'll go through. I guess the biggest reason for this is to let you guys share this with you guys in hopes that you can find these cards. Maybe the box broke open. Maybe they got put aside at uh, USPS. Maybe it, it's like in one of those like a losty, losty dosties where we'll end up seeing it where that gets auctioned off or something at some point. 
But if we can track this down, if we can find maybe maybe someone stole it, maybe someone bought it from someone that stole it. If we see these cards in the same location, and again, there's some there's some vintage stuff in there, um, and it's vintage stuff is is kind of clutch. It's pretty easy to identify just based on the hollow pattern. So let's get into the original tweet here. I reached out to Joey to receive some extra information on what the cards were, so we can take a look at those. He tweeted, hi, at USPS, I sent a submission to PSA, the grading company. The box contained cards over $2,000 in value. The box was handed to your office in a pristine condition. In the tracking, the order still hasn't been marked as delivered. I am 99% certain one of your employees damaged the box and took the cards. As a small business owner, this is truly disappointing. I would like to get compensated for this. Retweets appreciated. Thank you. Well, even better than that, we, we have a lot of retweets. We have a lot of likes. Uh, hopefully, uh, we can also find the track the cards down. So we have the RTS here. Uh, this was sent by PSA to Joey uh, saying like, hey, we've received your box, but it is absolutely destroyed. Now, did someone do this because they're stealing it? Probably not, but maybe. Maybe they destroyed the box to make it look like the cards fell out. Maybe the box got destroyed and then they discovered that there were cards inside and they stole them. Maybe they got stuck to the side. Who knows what's going on at US, USPS where they where they tuck these things over on the side. So, uh, again, also if you can... May, I don't know if it would have been better to have a smaller package here. If it was mostly empty, maybe it makes it more likely to get crushed. Um, I guess more compact, more tape, more anything to prevent stuff from, from getting ripped apart. But there's really no excuse for this. It's, 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 it's definitely on the, the, the shipping company here. It's on USPS uh, if PSA received it in this condition. So here we have it. We have an update. This has been escalated to the investigation fraud team. I, it's hard to say whether or not that's, uh, anything's going to come of that. But it would be nice if we can find out where these bad boys went. So, within the cards here, uh, there was mention of a base set Charizard. We got a base set 2 Charizard there on the left-hand side of the screen. Uh, maybe we'll zoom in here a little bit. Uh, so, basically, you can see the foil pattern on this bad boy. Again, foil patterns are great for that. Um, let's see here. We're going to move them, move them over here. Uh, if anyone finds a, a base set 2 Charizard, it does look like it's in really good shape. Uh, and again, the value of the package itself, he's saying $2,000, really, really depends on what condition these cards are in. Uh, it, I mean, if something something comes back at 10 versus something else, uh, the value is greatly increased. But you guys know that. So here we go, the Charizard. The other stuff is going to be very hard to match, but if anyone sees all of it being sold in the same place at the same time, uh, that could be a good reason to be on the lookout for it. Now we got the second page here, and again, we have uh, the... The modern stuff. I mean, you can go by centering uh, when it's when it's sleeved and in a uh, card saver. Again, it, that, another reminder, guys. If you're gonna send anything in for grading, or you're gonna send it to a middleman, or you're gonna send it to a customer, or you're gonna send it to anything, take pictures of it beforehand. If you don't already have pictures, like if if, if you're listing on eBay, it makes sense that you already have them. But if you don't, yeah, yeah, I, I, take them. Take some pictures. If it's valuable stuff, if it's a $2 card and you're just sending it to a friend, it doesn't matter. But if you're sending stuff into grading or anything else, uh, not only so if it gets lost, we can hopefully track it down based on patterns and, and everything else. But also the fact that like if PSA damages it, if any grading company damages it, if it gets damaged by the shipping company or anything like that, you'll have a record of what the cards actually look like now. Detailed pictures, as detailed as possible, are ideal. Here we have, we do have some foil pattern going on here that we can see on the, the Charizards, uh, which is great because if we find these later on being sold, especially if they're being sold with the items that are also on the screen here, also in that same submission, that we can probably, you know, we, without uh, without guessing too hard, we can probably track it back and trace it back and decide that, especially this one here, we got like bleed all over the place. So like, this is very distinct. Hollow patterns, they do repeat, but to have all of the individual hollow dots and everything in the exact same place, very, very unlikely. It's like it's a snowflake, basically. So we got the Alakazam down at the bottom here. We'll look at that, and then we'll move on to the information that we have on the submission itself. 
Sabrina's Alakazam. Again, if you have better photos, uh, sometimes the hollow pattern can look a little bit different depending on what angle you look at it, but that's a good thing to have. And also, again, any damage or lack of damage that's on these cards is going to be something you want because if PSA damages them, at least you can say, here's what it looked like when I sent it in, before I sent it in. You guys sent it back to me and someone pinched it, someone someone scratched it, someone, you know, they did whatever they did. It's, it's good to protect yourself that way uh, if you're going to grade your cards. Personally, I don't see the value in it, but uh, if you would like to, whether it's for selling, whether it's for your personal, if, if you prefer to have them graded, make sure that you're protecting yourself by taking photos of that stuff beforehand. All right, we're back on the screen here, and we have the submission. So we got the Base 2 Charizard. We got the Bulbasaur Illustration Rare. We got the uh, Crown Zenith Suicune V. Falaret Ente. We got the Rayquaza, Color Legends Reverse Foil. Ooh, that's a good one. We did not see that on the photos there. I don't know if he didn't have a photo of it, but uh, if, you know, again, take some photos, please. You can't prevent the fact that, yes, stuff is going to get stolen. Yes, stuff is going to get lost, but you can at least have very good photos of it in case it does get lost, in case it does get damaged. Uh, you, you have a much better case for yourself. We have the Groudon, uh, Special Illustration Rare or Illustration Rare, rather. We have the Charizard Special Illustration Rare. We got a, a Dark Rye Hollow from Japanese Sun and Moon Ultra Sun. Interesting. Take Team Powers Collection, Dark Rye Umbri Umbreon, and Dark Rye GX. Uh, again, so we don't have photos for a lot of this stuff. I mean, things like this, things that don't have a hollow foil pattern. I mean, yes, you can you could go based on centering. It's good to have them regardless, because if the entire collection is lost, then... At least you can, again, also with certain numbers, with photos of like the graded, if you're sending graded cards, have photos of the certain numbers. Keep that all on record so that if something bad happens, hopefully it doesn't happen, but if it does happen, you're at least able to uh, to go back. So we got the, do we have that on, no, we got another Charizard special illustration rare, Obsidian Flames. We got the Lily's Full Force. We got the Van Gogh Pikachu with the gray felt hat. Vaporeon VMAX Premium Collection. Flareon. We got the Full Art Mew Secret Dog. Detective Pikachu. The one that came with the video game. Did it come with the video game? I think it did. Blaine's Charizard. We got a Stormfront Charizard. We got a Flash Fire Charizard. My, there's a, there's quite a few Charizards in here. And again, this could, if it's a lot of money to you, take extra steps. Um, decide if it's worth it to put the insurance on it. Decide if it's worth it to send to begin with. And then also make sure you're taking pictures beforehand. Make sure it's packaged in a way that it doesn't accidentally break open. There's always the risk that like someone's going to cut it open. Uh, be discreet with your packaging. It's bad. The, the, the stores, I get it. It's cool to have the branding on the boxes and stuff like that. But if it makes it a target for theft, that's uh, that's not good for anyone. Not good for anyone involved. All right, what do we have here? Oh, the tracking update. So this is interesting, too, that the tracking never really showed as delivered. I guess the person that brought it to Troll... Or not to Troll. The person that brought it to PSA uh, didn't want to mark it as delivered, I, I guess, because it was so beat to hell. And then, like, it's weird that they even brought it all the way that far, that to, to the door or to the shipping department, if it was that beat up, like, and then, have, oh, oh, by the way, you should probably let your customer know that uh, their box is effed in the B. Unreal. Absolutely unreal. Let's look through some of the comments. I will thank anyone and everyone who has been taking the link tree link below that's at the top of the description. Uh, much appreciated. Awesome ways to support the channel here free of charge by clicking on stuff before you shop by using the promo codes. Even better. Because save yourself some money on some very good places to shop. Spend your money wisely. Stop buying razzle dazzles. Get out of that stuff. Buy, buy good stuff. Buy, if you're in Pokemon, buy stuff that's worth it. Buy stuff that's going to uh, make your collection better over time in at least a, in at least a somewhat optimal way. I mean, you can never truly optimize uh, buying stuff, but if you're buying singles, if you're buying your own booster packs uh, at good prices, that kind of stuff, uh, you're, you're going to make it all right. Hang on there. Get in the long term uh, and, uh, and take care of yourself. Now, 
Oh my god. We got uh base that Charizard was stolen. Um they delivered the ripped open empty box, which is pretty wild. Um how would someone know what's in the box before opening it though and the person happens to know about the cards having value what are the chances I mean if they see it's going to PSA like people not that they haven't in history as we've seen with a lot of junk slabs that are out there but typically if someone's going to spend the money to send and spend 15 to 20 dollars per card a minimum this without upcharges or anything like that if they're sending it to PSA there's probably some value in there there's got to be some some sort of value. It says, I know a lot of people who would throw any TCG cards away if they had the chance. I don't know how this happens. I mean, it just takes one employee to know what they're worth, uh, what what PSA is, to see the PSA label, to see anything that's related, that it's going to PSA, and they take it. Or it breaks open, uh, whether or not it, it's going on conveyor belts, it's beating itself around on some other packages, maybe it's mostly empty, it gets busted open, on, and then the cards are just kind of out sitting, floating around. Do they end up in the uh, lost items, empty items that fell out of a box kind of thing? Or does somebody put them in their pocket and bring them home? Again, trading cards, not very hard uh, for an employee, as we've seen with the destruction facilities or the print facilities where people are sneaking stuff out. It's cardboard. It's cardboard cards. Pretty easy to, to stick these bad boys somewhere where you can where you can sneak them out. Terrible that people do that. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, was this PSA that received it and took the picture or did it come back to you in this way? It says, yeah, PSA took the pic and sent it to me. Let me know guys. If, if I, I want to know down below. Uh, I'm sure it depends on your location, but in terms of like best ways to ship stuff that's insured, have you had any nightmares? Have you had any good experiences with insurance? Uh, what, what have you found that worked the best I, again? I don't know. I think UPS, as there's a comment in here, says that they don't cover collectibles, which is crazy. And then I think certain delivery companies uh, in the States will only cover up to a certain value, even if you declare it at that. You can't anything declared over a certain value. Again, if, if, the, if, if it shows on the label in any way that it's an expensive and there's super insurance plus on it, maybe that makes it more of a target. I know like with a lot of the stuff I send, if it's like plain white envelope, I, I've had like, it basically never goes missing. If you're sending, I mean, as long as the person on the receiving end is uh, being honest about it or someone that you trust, like it basically doesn't disappear. Uh, but also like how many people are, are stealing envelopes? I think the days of of uh, grandmas putting, putting cash dollars inside an envelope are probably gone at this point. We got some sad, a lot of people consoling, uh, and man, I, I feel for anyone, like, there aren't that many collectors that wouldn't be, like, upset or, like, two grand, two grand worth of cards just gone is, it's a lot of money for a lot of people. Even, even if you're well off, two grand deleted, uh, just out of nowhere, even worse if it's cards that you're, like, that, that have sentimental value. Uh, even worse, I mean, it could easily be more than that. There's p lots of people that are sending way more than $2,000 to PSA, and the same thing could have happened. It says, file an insurance claim. Filed one, just trying to get it escalated. Now, I don't know if the insurance is like, I don't know how the insurance works. I don't want to speak on that. Uh, it's best to probably talk to whatever the shipping company is, talk to PSA or whatever grading company that you're sending to, uh, to make sure that it's covered. It's probably in their terms of service or something. And if it isn't, hopefully they can get back to you with like what the best course of action is. Start here. This is why I'm reluctant to send my cards during the holiday season. I send them in small chunks of three to five thousand at a time. I hope USPS and PSA's insurance will expedite your claim. Hope you have videos and pictures of what you sent. If they did ask them, good luck, bro. Uh, yeah, yeah. I learned my lesson. We'll only send three to five cards at a time now. I don't know if that's the answer necessarily. Um. 3 to 5k at a time, like dollar value, maybe you only want to send so much at a time. Um, but sending three to five cards, then it's going to potentially cost you more depending on if there's a, a minimum amount of cards that you have to send at a time to get a certain, it's uh it's not good. All right. What else we got here? 
Do you have collectible insurance? So collectible insurance is a, it's a weird thing. Uh, again, you'd have to talk to somebody that's offering collectibles insurance in order to find out exactly whether or not it's going to work for you. But for the most part, it's expensive uh, and it often doesn't cover what you think it would. It's not like just a free freebie DB uh, like here. My collection is worth this. Uh, it's missing. It's lost. And then I don't think it covers it. like collectibles insurance as part of like a home insurance kind of thing. I don't think that would ever cover sending stuff if you're sending it out to somewhere else like that's all within the the shipping the shipping company and or psa now psa i don't know i don't know for sure if it's only the return shipping that their insurance is going to cover it so like they're on the hook if they send it back to you and it gets lost or damaged or whatever that's kind of on them so we have the tracking information here uh this is just a nightmare all around and man it, it sucks like it sucks when it's something that's not this expensive, but when it when it gets up into the thousands of dollars, uh, that's uh, that's that's got a sting. It's definitely got a sting. Hopefully the cards turn up somewhere. Um, Drops Burner says use certified or registered mail next time for higher insurance amounts. An employee has to sign off on every single point of transfer, and it's sorted in a different way than normal mail. That might be a good answer. Also, yeah, packaging. Make sure your packaging is on point, um, so that it doesn't break. If it broke open, I mean, there's a chance that it broke open, but there's also a chance that someone just saw that it was going to PSA and they decided they were going to smash it open, maybe make it look, or maybe they took the contents out and then it. You have to investigate like the tape and stuff like that too. Um, maybe even take pictures of what your package looked like when it left so that like if they cut the tape if they changed the tape anything like that uh that that can be kind of discovered there was one uh order that i received from troll and toad that the contents were stolen out of uh and you could see that they actually they cut the tape and then put another piece of tape over there like clearly someone that was probably working at one of the the shipping facilities cut the tape took the contents out but again that was marked that it was coming from troll and toad so it was a target it was uh, the people that are working here it just takes one employee that decides hey i want to steal this stuff recognizes what it is whether it's going to psa whether it's coming from a game store any of that stuff that uh, or pokemon center like pokemon center to just straight up like bail or stop using their like proprietary cool ass pokemon tape like the um it's like the the cardboard stuff like the it goes through like the the tape machine and it uh it dampens it and then it's it's on there it's on there good it's pretty, pretty much tamper proof but again it, it doesn't matter if it's tamper proof if they're just going to cut it open like if the box is just going to be smashed open uh then uh it's not really going to prevent that we have Mark D here who says, I had this package delivered like this. Card stolen from package, so I filed a claim with UPS and they denied it saying that collectibles aren't covered under insurance. So yeah, like insurance is is not cool. Whether it's like the PSA grade guarantee, whether it's the PSA like the, the counterfeit guarantee and stuff like that. Typically, these companies, regardless of who they are, they're going to fight you on it. They're going to be a pain in the ass and you're going to have to fight for getting your money back on it. Um, it shouldn't matter what it is. If you declare and have insurance on a dollar amount and that stuff is gone, that should be on them. They're charging for the insurance based on the dollar amount. So you should be able to claim that full dollar amount if your package shows up with a big gash in it and the content missing. It's on the, it should be on them. They should, they should weigh the thing. They should make sure that it's the same weight when it leaves as it, when it arrives Whatever they got to do to prevent like insurance fraud uh, or claim fraud, all together, it's on them. If you're going to offer and you're going to charge money, same with the PSA guarantee. If they're going to charge you extra money, they're going to upcharge you on cards. You know, unless you pull like a one ring or something, then they probably don't charge you anything because they're fighting with all the other grading companies because they want to get their dick sucked on social media. Then that's that's on them. If they're charging you the average consumer, which is not fair, you should be paying the same amount regardless of who you are and what you're submitting based on value of the cards. If they want to claim that's for insurance reasons, they should be very, very eager uh, to make it right and to make these situations um, as as painless as possible because it's going to happen. 
There's no way the amount of stuff that's sent to and from PSA, stuff like this is going to happen. They should have a team on it. They should be all over it. Like PSA should be doing everything to push USPS to like to rectify this. Uh, like there's there's no fucking way the box left uh, was accepted by USPS if it looked anything like this. So like for it to show up at PSA, which PSA should have confirmation if they took these photos and sent it to to Joey here. Let me know what you think, guys. Uh, never, never like to see this. If you see anything uh, that resembles the uh, collection of cards that we showed on screen that were in the submission here, uh, especially if the hollow foils match on those, please send it my way and send it off to a Joey Zaddy on Twitter. Uh, hopefully, we can find the cards, track them down, and um, that'll that'll be the end of it. That's like a best case scenario. Uh, worst case scenario, hopefully, he gets paid out at least close to what the the value was on the cards. And uh, hopefully everyone's just a little bit more careful. You can't prevent it 100% of the time. You cannot protect yourself from stuff like this happening. But there are steps. Your photos, take your photos. Find, if you need to put insurance on something, look into it. You need to look into whether or not it's going to be covered. If it's collectibles, you need to look into how much money it's going to be. Make sure your packaging is on point. I don't even if it takes PSA an extra minute to to open the box, uh, make sure that the box is as small as possible. Uh, still, make sure there's nice nice padding in there. Whether it's uh, the the craft paper, um, pa packing man, I hate pa packing peanuts are the worst. I don't know who in invented those, but they're not good. Uh, <laughs> make sure it's padded. Make sure it's in a way that like it's going to be pretty invincible. It's going to be banged around a lot. Uh, you don't want a lot of empty space. That's that's what I got. It seems like the package might have been a little bit too big, but still, if it gets busted open, th that's where USPS should have should any shipping company should be like, okay, there's contents all over the place. Here's the box that broke open. We're not going to continue to like deliver this empty, crushed ass box. We got to find the contents for it. Reach out to the the person that shipped it. Be like, hey. What was in the what was in the package here? The person that had the stuff in the package is going to have a detailed photos and, and and a list of everything that was included, and and voila, it, sh it should be fixed. Uh, maybe it doesn't get fixed right away because if there's multiple boxes that broke open and there's contents all over the place, it's not good. Or they just got to pay it out. They got, it's on USPS to make sure that their customer is is satisfied at this point in time, and it's not a great way to do it. Not a not a good look. Uh, it looks like they kind of just don't give a shit and uh, and draw. <laughs> I can't imagine. Can you imagine dropping this off? Being the, like the last, whether or not he like it. It almost looks like I don't know here if this was like they kind of like taped it back together and it's still busted open, or if that was on there to begin with. They put a little piece of tape to try and make it look like a box still. Like this thing is destroyed. Anyway, that's all I got for today. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining the Discord. Thanks for using the links down in the link tree. Uh, save, uh, get, uh, get those coupons. Put those coupons to work. Uh, get some awesome, awesome places on there for you guys to shop. Uh, don't buy anything that you don't need. But when you do need it, remember to take a look at the link tree. Save it. Bookmark it. Homepage it. Whatever you got to do. Uh, take advantage of those. Support the channel at the same time. Much appreciated. Thanks, everyone. Take care of each other out there. Bye.